Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters, and especially debunkers. Very briefly, think about that famous experiment where they drop a feather and a hammer in a vacuum. And those two objects apparently falling to the ground at the same speed is proof of gravity, right? Well, actually, it completely disproves gravity. First of all, the experiment was taking out the air molecules. So the feather has no resistance against the air molecules. Fine, okay? Now, gravity is said to be an inverse square law. So that should naturally affect lighter objects much more readily than it affects heavy objects. As I've said before, like sucking up a feather in a vacuum cleaner is going to be a lot easier than sucking up something heavier. Or a paperclip rushing to stick to a magnet compared to a heavy steel ball. Yeah? The magnet is going to attract the paperclip much more quickly and easily and make that paperclip stick and it will the steel ball. Yeah? So, one of two things should happen if gravity were real when you drop a feather and a hammer in a vacuum. One, the feather rushes to the ground faster than the hammer because it is being more quickly and more readily affected by gravity. Or, the same thing happens as normal with the feather. It floats and the hammer hits the ground first. Why? Because the usual uh, excuse for gravity is that everything has its own mass and, is a, and <clears throat> has its own center of gravity. So, in that respect, the feather, being very lightweight, having hardly any mass, should just float gently down to the ground, even in a vacuum. And the hammer should hit the ground before the feather as normal. The only reason that the hammer and the feather fall at the same time to the ground in a vacuum is because you took the air out.